Hello, gentle viewers. This is Avindian, welcoming you to a new episode of Europa Universalis 4 as the Usu Uusugi Daimyo. So, in our previous episode, thanks in large part to Meng, uh, we regained all of world territory back after we smacked around Ainu a little bit. And to be honest, they weren't the most challenging power. Ming is in the process of dismantling Korea, and Korea desperately wants some of our soldiers, but they won't, they can't get them, so... We've also got some problems with uh, rebel factions. I don't know why unrest is so high, that may be something to investigate. But we've decided that for the short term, our goal is to look east. We're going to be heading to the east, see what we can find, and maybe just maybe discover a new continent, but that will take a while. So, handle harsh treatment. And let's harsh your treatment as well. We need to get rid of this separatism as soon as we can. And rest there is. Sagami. Why under Sagami under... Oh! Yeah, I took you from... Yeah, 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 yeah. Isn't there a government building that reduces unrest? Wait, what? Courthouse reduces state maintenance. That's that's right, they included, they included state maintenance, didn't they? Tohoku, and which state are you? You're this state. So actually, building a courthouse isn't the worst idea, because it would make our maintenance there cheaper, thus saving us money. Let's do that. Okay. We have a couple more ships. And we're just going to keep exploring until we find something useful. Yeah, there we go. Explore out there. <gasps> Although citizens are encouraged to show trust and good faith in their exchanges, the reality in many cases is that it's a risk people cannot afford to take. Not the case in Uesugi. Upshot is free stability. Which should hopefully calm down some of these rebel factions. A new generation of samurai, a bonus to admin, or a bonus to army tradition. I'll take the bonus to admin. Let's take one more province east, and then we'll actually go back to Japan, rest and repair. This is going to be probably a fairly... Um, ooh, Shiba wants a royal marriage. I will take that. Let's get you back home. Ming wants Diplo, Ming gets Diplo. If anyone has any tips about how to explore more efficiently, please let me know. I know this is a tiny bit dull, but um, I definitely want to expand the army. My truce with Sheba has ended. Not that I care because I want Sheba to be my friend. I want one of you and two of you. We're going to pour as much of our money into the army as possible. We can make Yamana like us in exchange for... So, and some bonus diplo power. It's worth it. Damn! Even Kara Del... Karadel is going to attack Korea. Okay. You know what, Yamana? I'm going to counter espionage you. I'm tired of your crap. And I'll go ahead and take you home. Printing industry. 
Ha. This is killing us. This is just absolutely wrecking us. I don't even know where Rome is, so until I know where Rome is... Yeah... How's the fleet? Is the fleet repaired? The fleet is repaired. To the Stygus Basin with you. Secrets in our alliance. Let's lose some Diplo. I don't want to lose Sheba. They're our only friend right now. Nobles want privileges. Let's... No, I want them to be loyal. I'll take the prestige hit. This year they want admin. We're not finding anything useful, which is what's frustrating. We might lose ships this time. I think we just need better ships, and because I haven't gotten Diplo tech in a while, here come the bloody Separatists. I am so tired of the bloody Separatists. Just die already. And of course I just gained more Separatism because I couldn't get there in time. And I just lost because I forgot to increase my bloody maintenance. This is a really bad start. Really have to retreat all the way back there. We crush them, we retake the province, we return back home. I think we need to eventually get enough money to get a fort. I think that's our only play here. How much would a fort cost? 200 gold. We can't afford not to have one at this point. This is getting real irritating. And we lost a whole bunch of ships there, didn't we? I need at least three light ships and three heavy three light ships and heavy ships. When can we upgrade our tack? We're a while from that. Mm. Stable government, loss of admin. I'll take the admin hit. I got loads of admin. No pain, no gain. Actually, probably lots of pain. Yamana just declared war on Korea, and I think we're going to lose the rest of our ships. Yep, almost certainly. We have one ship left. Up, oh, that one made it back. I don't like that Yamana is strong enough to challenge Korea. Let's see here. Okay. What do I want to do in terms of this incident? I want to push towards selective integration for the moment. Or do I want to push toward open doors? Yeah, I'm going to push toward open doors, actually. Base manpower in Sagami, but also autonomy. Fine.
one ship made it back. I would like two additional barks. Oh, there's a little hammer where it's fixing things. That's cool. I like that. them to lose loyalty so I'll take the prestige hit. Korea just got beat. Oh hi, Korea won that war. Do we take a calculated risk? Would Sheba be in on this? Sheba would support us. I'm going to learn from my lesson, and I'm going to check the armies of the world. Rifles. We have about an equal army. They're at military tech 10, but I'm at military tech 9. So it's not like it was last time. And we're going to get military tech really soon. Do we take the plunge? Okay, if we're going to make this work, I need my full force limit. So give me two, one, one. Let's spend some cash and develop our army. I lost my air. I will let, mm, yeah, I will let Sorrow overtake me. I can always spend and boost my stability. There we go. Let's see here. We can make some room for them. I'll take some cheaper development cost and Ugo. Pay no attention to the fact, Yamana, that I'm going to increase army maintenance. It's for reasons you not need be concerned with. There you go, up to Echigo. Ming just declared war on Yamana. We have never had a better opportunity than right this minute. Let's do it. No, not trade dispute. If we can take Kyoto, all of this will have been worth it. Ishiki's not going to be called in, I don't think. Okay, this is our chance. Oh, and guess who's got the same military tech you do? That's right, I do. And I will go ahead and upgrade these. Oh, you had to go straight for Kyoto, which means you would get an NAP steal. Damn it. And Ishiki did join the war, which is going to go badly for them. This is my favorite song in EU4. It's so inspiring. I feel like I should literally go out and like attack Beijing or something. 
I'm pretty sure if I did that would go badly though. I'm only one person. Even if all of my subscribers joined me, I would still probably lose. Oh look, you don't have an army anymore. What a tragedy. Why did you have to attack Kyoto first? It was such a smart play. I give you mad props for that. So what I need to do is take everything but Kyoto and isolate it so that it won't be a threat to me ever again. All right, this would be a beautiful time to go ahead. I'm already at war with. Well, I didn't think that one through, did I? can get a bonus idea. Nice. An improvement to naval force limit. And we can fabricate claim overseas in colonial regions. Nice. And now Ming's invading you. Oh, this is glorious. All right, you guys are going to surrender right now. What? Oh my god, I can't take territory? You're kidding me. Oh, that was such bullshit. I had no idea. I'm so salty right now. I will never get a better chance than this. You will pay me, you will give up all of your claims on me, you will be humiliated. I will keep pushing this until we get the Humiliate CB, but that actually does kind of bug me. I would never have done that had I, had I not realized that. You will give me a lot of money... Which is tempting. I can always use that money. Another province. It needed to be 70, right? For the peace deal I wanted. <gasps> Wait, I can make you return cores? Oh, I can't do that. Oh, well. Let's move to Aki. Ishiki. Yeah, I'm okay with that. You can be out of the war. I just was in this for the quick win. I will actually drop my demands for this. Seriously, you won't give me one gold over? I'm getting 10% of their income, so I think this is worth it. Done. And I will pay more attention next time. What I may do is start fabricating claims for a future war. What if I fabricated a claim here now? If Ming might give it. To <gasps> I could steal your maps. Give me your map of the East China Sea right now. 
and fabricate a claim against Echizen. I want these islands. I want them now. And I don't have a transport. Give me a transport. Just one. I'm going to send a regiment, and that will be the extent of our operation there. Oh, Jinaimaki. Communities of faithful are growing to small towns and major Buddhist temples in the realm. These cities are not only influential in a spiritual sense, they also command their own defense forces to compose of anything from the samurai of low-level landholders to armed farmers and monks. The eco iki communes represent a parallel authority not only to the shogunate, but to any daimyo controlling the surrounding lands. One such commune has sprung up around a temple in Sagami. While we might be able to benefit from their support, this potent mix of religious fervor, weapons, and autonomy poses a threat to daimyo authority. We can make them angry. We can work together for base manpower. Or we can authorize more temple towns. Which will increase autonomy but get us manpower. I like that idea. Here we go. Split in half. You get this jerk and you get one person. There we go. No, I don't want the small one getting the army. No leader. Because I need to discover that province in order to colonize it. And that may give us a base to start looking farther to the east. Do I start I think I just start and start colonizing the Philippines. What the hell? I've got two colonists now. But I do want to colonize those because those will give us a base for further colonization to the east. I hope. He says. Okay. Why can't you hop aboard? Oh, the ship isn't done yet. It really takes that long? Okay. Noble families feud. I will settle the... Eh, I'll let them fight it out. Go for it. We'll have to wait a little while until that's finished. That was not the productive... Oh my goodness. I can make the Merchant's Guild hate me more for 10 prestige. They already hate me though. So I see no reason not to ignore them. Bushi lose influence. That's unfortunate. Let's take a look at what you're giving me right now. Oh, this is a quick way to assign a state. Oh. Ah, please, please give me. I will call a Diet and sacrifice five prestige if it means cheaper military. And what's the other benefit? Cheaper stability costs. I don't care. Yamana, you are in a lot of trouble. Why does this keep happening? Do you keep, like, rejecting them? You should just accept the Ming. I perfectly am completely happy with our Chinese overlords. <gasps> Yamano is basically not a thing anymore. I don't care about Sakhalin or Satsuma. Now, this is going to make for a very, very fun... Not fun. War... With with uh, Ming later on. Political capital. Ooh, a bonus three stab sounds awfully tasty. Since that's a flat bonus to national tax modifier. But we are we are hurting from legitimacy too. Let's do it. This is especially problematic, by the way. I have no heir. And my queen is super old, and so am I. Hmm. 
Military power? Yeah, let's go ahead and spend a little bit of military power to get at least to mediocre. All right. Let us go to the Volcano Islands. What the hell? I could get a bad air. Hmm. I can't afford to lose prestige right now. At least not a lot of it. Screw you, Yamana. I don't even care about you anymore. Oh, well, this is all Guam, is it? Ah, oh, we're not actually close enough for that. Well, then let's actually go ahead and just keep call. Let's put all of our efforts in colonizing the northern part of the Philippines. It's fine. Um, let's go ahead and explore to the east, actually. Export license. Yamana will like us more. Or we make... Nope. I will happily dick over the Merchant's Guild at every chance. This is going to be the, the theme here. I hate the Merchant's Guild. I hate them a lot. I don't actually hate them, but... Let's go ahead and cut military maintenance. <gasps> we get a new heir. Hooray! Nori Kata. Very good at admin. Not so good at Diplo or military. Does he have any traits yet? He's just a baby, so I guess not. We just discovered Wake Island. I think that's a lovely accomplishment for one particular journey. Let's get you home. When is my truce up? 1566. I have enough for another admin tech. Nice. Social tensions. This is only their right. We're getting a lot of base manpower. That's very helpful. Can I get a royal marriage with Meng? Or do I already have one? I already have one. Who else might give me a royal marriage? Korea? You don't like me enough, but you would actually think about it. And I can't fabricate a claim on Kyoto yet. That's fine. Oh, we lost our conquistador. Let's see here. I'm going to let this episode run a tiny bit long for one important reason. I want the truce with Yamana to run out. Our colony has been struck by Roman fever. I like that. We can quarantine it. We can pray for the best. Or we can send someone to organize a response. Do it. And we get a bonus to morale of our armies for 50 years. That's nice. I can practically taste Kyoto. You know what? I am not going to call them. I'll, yeah, you can have some admin power. I'm not going to call Shiba because they'll just dick me over. Ming declared war on Hosokawa. That was very dumb of them to resist. Um, let's... 
have our samurai go into administration. Our monarch died. But we can still declare war, so that's not the worst thing in the world. Tokachi, sure. Why is there still so much ad... Alright, you know what? If we increase autonomy, that should shut you guys up for a bit. There we go. Have some autonomy, I knew. I cannot be bothered right now. I need to obliterate. I'm so bloodthirsty to get Kyoto, you don't even know. Could I make them my vassal? Ming entered a golden era. I'm sure they did. How are we doing? Naval supplies? Lovely. Oh, this is killing me so much. I want this over with now. Ooh, more loyalty and a bonus to military power. Would we have to wait till 1566? Oh my god. I will not meddle in the affairs of the... Ooh, increased loyalty? That will cost us some money, but I think it's worth it. Do you want more territory? Why do I care about the Merchant's Guild? Alright, fine. Have a Monopoly Charter. It'll shut you up. Dicks. Which is like an ultra speed right now. I just want to like close my eyes and wake up and it's 1566. Um, yeah, that's fine. Come on. Kyoto alone will probably make us, like, the greatest ever. Do you like me enough for royal marriage now? Not really. I've got my spy network. Um, you can come home. I'm sorry, you guys. You'll have to wait till the next episode to see me crush Yamana, hopefully for good this time. Although I shouldn't get overconfident, should I? That's what I thought last time. But this has been a good update for us. We didn't gain any new land, but we did humiliate Yamana, and we're at a position now where we're the predominant power in Japan. Now, this is going to lead to some nastiness in the future, because eventually we're going to have to fight Ming. And I don't know that this is a war we can win without significant outside help. So we'll have to keep our eyes open on that. But, things are looking good. And if we can absorb Kyoto, and I will actually not bring Shiba into the next war. I have to win this one on my own so I get Kyoto, and there's no chance of them taking it from me. Um, that would be really good. I could then start working on Shiba as a long-term goal. Because Shiba's no real threat to me. Um, Yamana, the moment I take Kyoto, I'm pretty much the dominant power. What do I need to do to unite Japan? We have a little bit of liberty desire, but we're pretty happy about that. Military... What did I want? Decisions. I need to control Kyoto. I think if I take out Kyoto... That will help. But that'll have to be for next time, so please remember to like, subscribe, comment down below. And of course, this has been Avindian wishing you good day, good luck, and good fortune.